Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to my workshop. Long time no doggy. I look like crap. Hello. I did a double shift on no notice with no sleep. Um, so I've been up since Monday. <clears throat> yeah, it is Wednesday. But if you caught any of my other videos, you may have noticed I've been pulling apart pallets like there's no tomorrow. And I thought I'd show you the fruits of my labor. I'll show you what I've repped, so to speak. Pallet board projects, stencil. I have no artistic ability at all. I just stencil the shit out of everything. But it comes out good. I like them. People have been very happy. Besides those, I've been making bird feeders. I had some extra plexiglass. I've been making all kinds of bird feeders, step stools, just projects, cutting boards, and serving trays, coasters. Oh, it goes on and on. It goes on and on. Tons of stuff. So, I thought I'd maybe do some videos. Pretty simple. I mean, pulling the pallets apart is no fun. But this part I enjoy. I kind of like doing this. I don't know. I'm like an eight-year-old kid with a coloring book. It's pretty easy. And um, they come out pretty good. I've been very happy with the way these look. For free stuff. I mean, it's not. It's not. The markers, you know, it all gets expensive after a while. I do know I could give you an earful about markers. I'm learning quite a bit here as I go. That regular Sharpies do not work. I thought I'd be set. I've got a million colored Sharpies. I'm good to go. No, they don't work. They do not work. You need oil base, first of all. Those are not. Here are Sharpie oil based at 20 bucks a pack. Have to be oil. So I've tried acrylic based. Nope, they didn't work. Um, and regular Sharpies, they just do not work. The blacks, the reds, the thick blue ones, none of them. None of them. I thought, you know, I would be set. I have cases of Sharpies. Nope, they don't work. So, the next thing I did was oil-based Amazon brands because they're like 50 markers for 10, 15, 20 bucks. They suck, they suck. Like everything, you get what you pay for. Half the time they don't even work. You'll be sitting there trying to get it to write and it's not working. And then all of a sudden, it's still not writing. Bloop, it drops a huge puddle of paint on your project. Still not writing, the tip is still not writing. Like, the whole tip is saturated, and it will not write on anything. I'm trying all these different things. I did a whole video review. They're, they suck, especially these finer point ones. They just drip. They end up ruining your project if you're not careful. But I haven't really had that happen with the Sharpie versions. And there are even fine point oil-based Sharpies. And those have been the best ones. There are others, like testers, that are, you know, 10, 11 bucks a marker. So I haven't got them yet. <laughs> I'm sure they look good. I'm sure those work good. But I can't bring myself to do that on stuff that I'm giving away. Because I never sell. It's crap. But, yeah. So, don't get too excited about having Sharpies. Because they're not going to be much help. It's a bone. I was all excited. I mean, they have their place for many other uses, especially in the shop. But uh, painting on wood is not one of them. <clears throat> you have to have something else, such as oil-based. There's, like, alcohol-based. There's all kinds of acrylic, and I really never tried them all. But I have here is... This is all walnut. Walnut. I love walnut. It's my favorite wood. It just smells so good when you, like, cut it, sand it. I can't explain. It smells divine. Like, when you... I remember when Kohl's, when I first went to Kohl's for the first couple times, I noticed, like, 
it had this really strong smell. It kind of burned your nose. It had a tear in your eye. Like, what the hell is that smell? It's like a very clean, filtered, hardcore smell. It's almost exactly what walnut smells like. It's a trip. Like, a uh, very eucalyptus. You ever smelled eucalyptus? It's similar to that. If you never have, go to a craft store sometime. Grab a big bundle of eucalyptus and smell it. it. Smells fucking good. Fill your whole room full of that stuff. But I noticed something really interesting, an interesting fact about a lot of these tropical hardwoods. <clears throat> 90% of them are from where that Jim Jones and those people, people's temple all committed suicide in French Guiana right there. Like not... Brazil or Colombia, Venezuela, like right there where those people were within, I think all of these species are in like a very small radius. <clears throat> I just find that to be interesting that these are all from within a X miles of the Jim Jones mass suicide thing. And I wondered if that played into his decision to build there, that he knew there was such abundance of these world's densest woods half these woods don't even float they're so dense but yeah every time i make something out of these i ruin it and it ends up in the garbage so i've been more and more pal more and more pallets i do not feel bad when i mess them up it's not as heartbreaking as 45 dollars worth of tropical hardwood um, I've been gluing together boards a lot. If I needed a wider board, you know, a little bit of glue and some clampa lampa. And we're good to go there. Some wood burning. This is actually, uh, I think, hard maple. Found some maple skids. Oak. I mean, you look around, you can find everything. And it's a trip. Yeah, what else? A lot of cutting boards and bird feeders and bird houses and you know hell board projects man cave build continues I'm about halfway let's get in there let's get in there I don't want to go too fast to make you motion sick I have tried to keep the biggest offenders of dust in the air as far this way as possible. Yep, pallet board projects. Eh, I like my woodwork to be bright, light up a room, like a fresh vase of flowers on the table. Anyway, it's a mess. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.